guys so this is gonna be kind of lengthy um it's gonna be more like a a little makeup tips you know how i do my makeup or what have you um so yeah um let's begin um, I'm gonna start off with this Dermacell to moisturize. This one says it's for night cream, but I have the day cream, but it do the same thing. So first, you always want to start with a clean canvas. Um, if you woke up in the morning, wipe, you know, wash your face, brush your teeth, duh. So I'm gonna take this moisturizer and I'm going to moisturize my skin really well. And to those of you who are new to makeup, this is very vital that you moisturize your skin. I don't care if you're oily, I don't care if you're dry. Moisturizing your skin gets you ready and prepped for your foundation. If you're wearing powder foundation or if you're wearing liquid foundation. So make sure you moisturize really well okay that is key okay next I'm gonna use this babyless instant pore eraser as one of my primers um you need to prime your skin to get your skin ready for foundation as well as if you want to minimize pores if you have a lot of pores that are big and you want to disguise them or cover them up or close them up or what have you so I'm gonna use that baby skin to start off as my first primer when I begin doing my foundation you're gonna see that I will apply another found another um primer okay so i'm just getting everything prepared for my face first of all what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna do my eyebrows because i always do my eyebrows first that's the first thing i do now a lot of people use a primer on their eyebrows before they begin if you want to use a primer on your eyebrows before you begin, if you have a problem with them moving or whatever, do so. But I don't use a primer. I just go ahead with what I use. And what I'm going to be using today is the um, ColourPop Brow Pencil in Banging Brunette. And it has a spoolie on it. So I'm going to begin, I'm sorry, I'm going to begin with the spoolie side. And just combing up my brows. getting them ready to enhance them because I'm going to enhance the brows that I already have and I'm going to extend them into the shape that I like. Everybody have to do the eyebrows to their liking so just play with it and see how you like your brows so that you will be able to achieve the um the shape you make want, me okay? brow by Essence. It's a brow gel. And it's in the color brownie brows. And I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna go over my eyebrows with it and set it. And it does give a little dark tint to it. Which I just told y'all I like my eyebrows dark. So yeah, it just finish it off. And it lays your hairs down and it gives you that brown tint that you, you know, that you're looking for in a brow gel. And that's my brows for today. Okay. Some days you have bad, good days. Sometimes you have bad days. This is the all right day. It's okay. It'll pass. Okay, so on to 
the eyeshadow. Okay, for my base. Well, for my eyeshadow primer, I'm going to use this um, this Wet n Wild Fergie eyeshadow primer on my eyebrows, even though I use, I put that concealer because I love extra, extra hole of my eyeshadow, especially if it's hot like summer. Summer around here, it's very hot. So, yeah. I love to prime. Prime and keep your makeup on. So yeah. That's what I like to do. Okay. Mm -hmm. I just work that in. Just work that in. As a, as a base, I will use this um, color tattoo and it's in Too Cool. And this is how it looks. Okay. It has like a little shimmer tint to it. And I'm going to put it all over the eye. I like these because they do good for my eyeshadow, especially if I want to wear colorful looks. It really adhere my um shadows really adhere good too. Yes, that's why, and I I don't be stingy with it. I put it put a lot on it. Okay. I'm gonna take this. The look the brush in and just kind of at the edges and just buff it out this is from um real techniques it's a deluxe crease brush and i'm just using it to buff the edges out i'm gonna do it with this side too putting that all over getting ready for the look and buff it out too. Buff the edges. The edges out. Okay. So today I'm going to be doing a throwback look and I will be using the throwback looks is um, something that I had on, that I have on my channel and I do them sparingly but this is a throwback look because this is the BH Cosmetics 120 palette the second edition um, I have the third edition or whatever I have a lot of old palettes that I need to pull out and do so I'm gonna be doing these throwback looks starting back today so we're gonna do a look with this palette okay and this is one plate, how one plate looks. And this is how the other plate looks. Okay.
So what I'm gonna be starting with is uh, this orange color and this brown color right here. I'm gonna mix it together to start off. And this is a brush from Soho London. Okay. I'm just mixing them two colors together. Okay, so I'm gonna go into this purple color right here with the same brush. And I'm gonna concentrate it right here. It's like I'm tracing at the edges in the crease area where this was. The key to makeup looks is don't be scared of color. You know, colors are a beautiful thing. It makes wonderful, wonderful, wonderful art. And I'm just packing on that purple color. I'm going in the purple right here. Doing the same thing toward this eye. And you're gonna see me pack on that color. And I'm taking it all the way right here. Okay. here and I'm taking that purple and just working it back. See that? I'm working it back. Backwards. Backwards and fronts. Okay? See that? And I'm just working it, working it in. Okay, so another throwback is Matisse Elite, and this is a this is a line that has been discontinued. This is the chef, the Stardust from it. It's named Queen, and I'm gonna use this to pack on the color right here, okay, in this area. I will use my Studio Fix Plus to make it more vibrant. So I'm going to spray my brush.
spray my brush and then I'm gonna go into the pink okay and I'm just going to tap it in there tap it as you can see I'm going to tap the color in there I'm not going to rub it just tapping it and I'm just tapping the color in there and don't rush it tap it so you like it tapping it okay I'm gonna go to the other eye I'm gonna wet my brush again my studio fix prep and prime Okay, you tap it in there. This is a beautiful pigment, and believe it or not, you guys, this is my first time using this pigment. I have so much makeup. And that is the key to working with. Working with these pigments, you have to wet your brush in order for them to add here okay to add here properly okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go on in I'm gonna go on in with a darker blue color right in this area here and I'm gonna use a crease brush and this crease brush is from elf as you can see it's smaller it's a smaller but poofy brush and I'm gonna go into this color right here I'm gonna go in right here and just concentrate it Concentrated in this area. Concentrated, and the reason why I'm concentrating it, I'm I'm doing that so that I can blend the edges out. If you can see, that's why I'm taking my time. I'm not trying to rush it because to get the desired look, you don't want to rush it. Especially if you're doing a client, you don't want to rush it, okay? So you see how they blended in there? I'm going to take a little bit more because I want to intensify it a little bit more. Like that. Okay, so I'm going to do the other eye. And as you can see, I'm going slow. You wanna go slow, you don't wanna take, you don't wanna rush it. Don't rush it. Don't rush your look. And like I say, it's like you. It's like your own. Um, blending out the edges. And that's exactly what I did. Blended out the edge of that of that pigment so that we can get a, a beautiful look, okay? And try your best to keep it concentrated right up in here. Okay? Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back with this brush and we want to Blend that out. Blend this out, okay? That same brush that you had took 
they have a purple still on it take that and you blend that out and like I said the key is don't be scared of color don't be scared of color show don't be scared of colors now take a clean brush there you go you go in with your clean brush okay go on with your clean brush all right and it should be looking like this so far okay now what we are going to do, we're going to put us some glitter in the tear ducts, right in the tear duct port, right up in this area, okay? That's this heavy metal by Urban Decay, and it's in the color Midnight Cowboy. I don't know if you guys can see that. We're going to use that in our inner tear duct, just to give it some glitter on, okay? To give it some glitter on and we're gonna concentrate that right up in here right up in this spot okay right up in this spot And I hope this video is kind of helping some people who are new to makeup or some that just want to learn some new techniques. Which it ain't. You take it to your own and you, you know, you take it to your own and get it done how you want, okay? So, we put that glitter right there. We can see. We concentrated that right there okay now I'm gonna use this essence waterproof pin and we're gonna start right here put a thin line and just bring it out Bring it out. And that's how I do to get my line feet. And then the easiest cat, you do this. Make you a slanted line. Then you come back. And there you have it. Easiest cat eye you'll get. See that? And that's just my way, okay? Whenever you don't have a tape, that's the easiest way to draw you a line right there and then come back with it, okay? I'm gonna do the other eye. And you ain't gotta rush it, like I said before. You do not have to rush it, okay? You are an artist, you are an artist, so Take your time, you know? Take your time. Make your little slanted line like I told you before, okay? Then you don't go all the way up right here, but just a little bit down and bring it in. And go up a little bit. And there you can I go. Just as easy as like that, y'all. If you want to darken the areas, then I'll be trying to darken up right here. Tight lining. I just like the tight line for whenever I put my lashes on, everything will be a dark color. So that's what I'm just tight lining right here, right at the hook, at the root of the eyelash. Okay? Where makeup probably went. Okay? And I won't be doing a brow boom for this one. I'm going to leave it just like that. Okay? 
so yeah now now you with the pigment you may have some fallout or whatever a lot of people go clean it up with with the concealer I'm not gonna clean it up with the concealer right now I'm not going to use that I will use a, a makeup wipe now because I will be highlighting and contour okay so I'm gonna just use a makeup wipe and I had some fallout right there. Add a little bit right there too. Okay. And you just clean it up. Just clean it up to your liking. And that's what I'm doing. Cleaning it up to my liking. And like I said, you can go in with concealer after that you know and clean out any fallout which you might have okay so what I do next this is what I do you don't have to do it but this is what I do I go back I go back and I'm gonna use my pore professional for my pores it's some high price stuff, so I only get the small one for ten dollars, and it goes a long way. A little goes a long way. A little goes a long way. And I'm gonna let that set so it can close in my pore. Okay. Now, because this is a colorful, pretty look, um, I'm gonna go ahead on. And I will apply some eyelash. Indian eyelashes. That's how they look. It's in number one. And you guys, I've been got these eyelashes. Um, I think a while ago I had one these in a one of these in a giveaway some years ago. So this is how they look. I'm gonna put them on. on camera these are not human hair so I'm probably gonna get this gonna be the only way I get out of these because you can feel it. it's kind of fake hair I like the more natural um, ones but I will be using my trusty and I use this for my clients as well you guys I use this for my clients as well this is um this is strip lash adhesive. It has aloe. It's from Kiss USA. And I love it. I have one in my kit. And the reason why I like to cut the brush like that. And it really holds strong. Y'all excuse that train. I told y'all time and time again. I do stay by the track. <laughs> I know sometimes it's aggravating. They want to pass when I'm doing a video. But anywho, I'm gonna bring y'all up. So come close, okay? I'm up in your face. And I'm sweating a little bit, so excuse that. But holding my lashes like this at the slanted part of it, I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna put my glue on there. Putting generous amount of glue. Okay. Putting a generous amount. Because you want to look fly, baby. You got this nice colorful look going on. You don't want these lashes to be coming off on you and stuff. Okay. So. Mm hmm. I'm going to put this one down on the court, like such, and let it dry and wait for adhesion, I mean, so it can get tacky, so that uh, it go on easy, okay? So, and 
then I'm going to pick up the other ones. And I'm going to put the glue on there so we can adhere that one right after we finish this one. And I'm going to pick up the first ones that I had. This one. And I'm going to take it. And we're going to bend it a little bit. And we're going to do this just getting it ready. Especially since it's a like a plastic it kind. You don't have to too much do that like to the kiss ones that I love, the blooming ones. You don't have to too much do that for those. But for these. So I'm going to take it and I'm going to put it closest to my lash line as possible. And I'm going to go in it. Stick the, the inner. Now I'm doing the outer. Now I'm going making sure it's in there. Close to the lash line. You make sure that it's close as possible. Okay? Then you take your hand, your fingers, and you push it. You push it in there. And you make sure it's in there, okay? And then you start to move it how you want. Pushing it up or what have you. Making sure, okay? Now that lash is on. And as you can see, do like that so you can see. Some people use this part. You can use this part to make sure it's sticky. But it's stuck. The closest you put it to the lash line, the more it's going to stick. Because it's not on no, um, it's not on any makeup or anything. It's close as it didn't cut hold to, you know, a little bit of skin and your natural lashes, okay? So, let's stick this one on. And what we're going to do is we're going to... You know, get it ready to curve it a little bit. Okay. Take it like that. Okay. And I always aim for the middle. The middle first, okay? Then I always come and make sure this part stick first. Then... I try to pull my eyelash down because it's kind of long at the end and I'll go close, close as I can to the edge and make sure it's sticking in there. If not, I'll pull it up and stick it in there again to make sure it's stuck. Then I'll go in with my fingers, you know, or you can go in with this like some people do and tap it. I make sure it's in there. And that's what I do. And you, you go down and you make sure everything's sticking like you want. Or do it with your finger. It's much safer to do it with your finger because if you don't know how to work with your, if you don't know how to work with these, use your finger. And you play with it. Okay, and voila, your lashes on. Okay. You don't put if you okay. desire to put mascara on, don't put it yet. Wait till everything dry. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into my own my foundation. Start my foundation. Always begin with a clean sponge if you use a sponge or clean brush whatever brush you use um and i had prime everything i prime late girl orange concealer everything. orange concealer conceal black spots okay so i'm gonna conceal under my eye okay a little bit right here right there right there you know Live it on the moons and stuff like that, okay? 
right here because I'm darker up in this area. Okay. So I'm going to use my finger and I'm going to warm my finger up to um, like this. That way when you put it under there and you color correct it. Now with a client you will use your sponge or your brush. I'm just using these fingers because this is my face. I like the way it um, distributes. And I like the way it distributes. Put my finger because it warms everything up. Okay. And I'm just using my finger. I just strip it that much. Okay. As they say, I have a lot of beauty moves. <laughs> when I <laughs> when I um put my foundation on, I mostly cover. But I can go back and um put them black marks, them darks. Well, yeah, which I can, but I don't choose to, so it is what it is. And if y'all been following me, y'all know where my moles at, <laughs> and y'all know I have freckles and a lot of moles in my face already. So, my lawyer's up is okay. Okay, swipe some of this off my finger. Okay, now I am going to spray my sponge down with Fix Plus. Work it in there so it can get nice and moist. And everybody that knows me, that knows my channel, that watches me, y'all know that my favorite is the CoverGirl Queen Collection in Golden Honey. Honey. So that's what I'm gonna be using. <laughs> Put some on the back of my finger. It's a new bottle, y'all. So that's why it's taking long to come out. There you go. This is all right. So we're gonna take some of this. We're gonna start distributing it all over our face, baby. Yes. And getting it together. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going in like a patent bouncing motion. To pack on that that not another concealer that foundation to go over the orangeness. And as you can see, it covered up some black marks really well. And my mood is also. <laughs> Which I don't care about covering up my moves because I'm not ashamed of my moves. I love my moves. I like my moves, boo. Don't get it twisted. I love it. It's a blessing from God. That's what He gave me. That's my skin gave. But sometimes I want to always make a finish. I'm going to put that top of here and get it popping. And I just be careful not to mess up my eyebrow. And you just work it in. Now this is the cover girl three in one. It's supposed to um set as a primer. So if y'all been following me, y'all know that I don't too much um I don't set this foundation too much. I don't. There's no need to to me. There's no need to, but whenever I contour, when I'm contouring and highlighting, um, whatever part I'm using for my concealer, I'm sure it goes on there and set it anyway. So I don't like actually like take it and set it. Okay. So as you can see, it's a little dewy. 
The look is doing now, but it will dry matte. And make sure you get underneath that neck because you don't want, want yourself looking too toned. Okay, you want everything blended out really well. Make sure you get your ears. Because a lot of people don't be doing that. Get your ears, baby. Get your ears all up in this area. You don't want your stuff to be looking too tall. You don't want that. And like I said, take your time with your makeup. Don't be doing all because you, you know. Take your time with your stuff. If you got time. If you ain't got time. I understand, but like if you're doing a look and you're doing somebody else's makeup, make sure you get there early or make sure your client come early. Sometimes I know life come up, but if you can, it's, it's, it's always good to, you know, start early so that you can execute the look, okay? Where well, you'll have enough time to get them looking. Biffy baby, okay? Yes. So, what I'm gonna do is set that on the side, and what I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna go in them colors. Let me give me a brush. I'm gonna go in them colors, and we're going to put us some color underneath. Eyes, baby, so we can have the colors going, okay? So, the color I'm gonna choose to go with underneath, I'm gonna mix these colors up. I'm gonna mix this blue color, this purple color. This purple color right here this blue this blue purple and this green i'm gonna mix all that together and i'm gonna put that underneath there okay blue then i'm gonna turn my brush over and go into the purple okay and then i'm gonna go into this green it's just saying Hanzo, what are you doing tap off your brush tap it off Put that underneath. Flip it to where the purple at. And I just went up a little bit where the um the cat eye is. Okay. So we gonna do it again. Which that green blue over powder blue. It still gave it a pretty color that you can see. But blue, flip it, purple, then we're gonna go in green. Okay? Flip it. Drag it out a little bit. Alright, and that's the color underneath. Okay, so I said we going with color, we might as well go on right. <laughs> so yeah, that's it for that under eye. And we gonna come back, cause we still letting our do his thing, you know, and set on our skin and stuff like that. We're gonna go into um, the eyeliner. Sharpen. 
Okay, now that's shopping. I'm going to go in that. And I love this. If y'all can find this NYX City City Proof 24 Hours, y'all find it because this is the bomb. It's so creamy. And I got this in the influencer box. And I never could find it after that. I'm going to find this one. I'm going to give it like two or three. Okay. So I'm going to take my finger. I'm going to go on my waterline. Get it black. And you see, it's going so effortless. That's why I like it. Take my finger. And it's going so effortless. That's why I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Okay. And y'all, excuse me, because I am. I'm sweating a little bit. Just because of these lights. And it is hot. Even though I got my acclimation on. But you know when you put makeup on, you get extra hot. Okay. You get extra hot. <laughs> Highlight and contour. Now. Let's speak about this. A lot of people highlight and contour with the cream. You a cream person? Do that. I'm not. I don't highlight and contour with the cream. Um, on myself, I do it on the client. It just depends on how their skin is, or if you know, I can do it with powder and it'll stay. But I probably use a cream um contour if they in the wedding or something that they got to keep their makeup you know stayed all the way in place I you know use my super stay okay i use this concealer and it's in medium i love it love it love it i have backup of this but i mean it's you get so much in here i've been having it for a while so that's what i'm a highlight with and I don't, I don't go too light from my skin color. I go light, but not too light like some people do. You know, I like to, you know, I want it to look realistic. I want it to, I want you to believe. <laughs> I want you to believe and you understand what I'm saying. I want you to believe the makeup application. Okay, I don't want you to. You're like, okay, this, okay, girl, you, you know, you just too, too light for you. What you doing, okay? <laughs> Y'all know what I'm talking about. But that's on the people who like it. I'm, if y'all like it, I love it. I'm just saying what works for me. So, I'm going to take I'm gonna just work my sponge that I use. In a pat motion, in a pat motion. Enough that motion. Enough that motion, baby. Enough that motion. Enough that motion. Enough that motion. Okay. Pat it, pat it, pat it, pat it, pat it, pat it. Pat that sponge. Pat that sponge. Pat that sponge. Pat that sponge. <laughs> oh Lord. So yeah. I'm patting it in. Okay. And you see, I turn it on the side. Or you could have turned it this way to use this tip, but I'm going to use this. Use the side. I'm going to go up. Then you get a little bit. Just tap that off with your finger. Okay. Make sure you work it in. 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 Work it Work it Work it Work it in. Work it in. Work it in. Okay? Use your finger if you gotta work it in too. Okay? Okay? We working it in. We working it in. We make the show it's worked in. And what have you. Okay. So, I ain't gonna use my ass blunt today. 
I'm gonna go ahead and use my Sasha Buttercup. This is a trend now. I like it. I also like my axe spoon too, so it don't matter. And I turn that over. Turn my sponge over. Oh no. Setting that concealer with the Sasha. Set, set, set. Set it, set it, set it, set it. Set it. Set it, baby, set it. <laughs> set it, set it. Go ahead and 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 set it. Then if you want it to be sharp, you think you do this. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Just trace that. Just trace that. Okay? And that's what I do. And that's what I did. You see it? Do you see it? Do you see, 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 see it? <laughs> y'all, I'm having fun with this. I hope y'all having fun too. I know it's long, but I told y'all it's going to be long. Okay, but have fun with me, y'all. Share this video. Y'all subscribe. Let them know. Let them know, baby. Okay? Say so makeup by Kawanta is teaching us something. I hope anyway you got this. So I'm going to use this brush as my time. Contour brush. It's a contour. Okay? Use that brown right there in the middle. Get some of that on here. We're going to take it in. And if you need to do this, you go ahead on and you do it, baby. You do it. You do it. You get it. You get it. So, you work that contour in that baby, yes. Okay? Work it in. Work it in. Work it. That means blend it. Blend it. Make sure you blend it, okay? Make sure you blend that out. Make sure you blend that out. Okay, that's what we we gonna blend. Make sure we blend that out, baby. Okay, you make sure you blend it out. You blend it out. You blend it out. A little harsh, but let's take it and just blend it. That's all. Okay. Okay. All right. So we're gonna take some of that. And we're gonna get our nose and I stuck on my nose right here. Right there. Just one time. Boom. Let me take it. Do that. And you just break it up and down. Work it up and down. Work it up and down. Work it up and down. And yeah. Make about cons. Do I have to go all the way up here? Yes. Right up in here and down. Right up in here and down. Okay. If you're going to contour the nose, contour the whole perimeter. <laughs> y'all. I'm having fun with y'all. Okay. So what we going to do... What we gonna do, we gonna get this pot off us, baby. Okay? Yeah. I like the butter, the cutter, the, the butter cutter, the butter scotch, but maybe you gotta work that stuff off. You gotta work it off, cause if not, you gonna be looking yellow, yellow. Okay. You got to make that come off. Yes, baby. You you got to make sure that's off. Gotta make sure you get that off really well. I think what I'm going to start doing, so I guess to me it be looking, it don't have no flashback in my pictures, but um, I think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start mixing it with my aspirin. That way it might cut down on the yellowness that it, you know, 
Okay, so we got that off. Now, you guys, what we gonna do, what we gonna do is we gonna go mess with these lashes. And this, I'm gonna use this telescopic carbon black by L'Oreal. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Because it has this little wand, and I love it. And I take it and I just make sure my natural lashes just get in there. Just putting them in there with them. Joining them with the fake ones. With the falses. <laughs> with the fake ones. <laughs> Y'all. I'm putting up. Okay. I'm coating these bottom lashes. So yeah, baby. So yes. <laughs> so what we gonna do is we gonna put us some blush. We gonna get us some blush going, and then baby, we gonna we gonna be great with this Anastasia Beverly Hill kids. We gonna highlight to perfection, baby. We gonna glow this look. Y'all ready? Let's put us some um, lip moisturizer. Masterize these lips for when we put our color. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So we're gonna use this Miss Cheek Coral Blush. Okay. Put that in there. Just tap it. Just tap it. Just tap it. Then rub it. Just tap it and rub it, tap it and rub it, tap it and rub it. Okay, so we got a blush. We got our blush, okay? We got that going on. Nah! I want to live. I want to then I use my fan brush for my highlight. Get ready to be like great with this glow kit. Mm -hmm. The shit. I really oh, great. The shit out. Okay. And this one is sun dipped. Okay. Eventually I want to get another one, one more glow kit. And that's gonna be good. Because I mean this enough glow to glow. I mean I don't need all the palettes, okay? It's good as long as I can glow. Uh and the one I'ma use is Moonstone. We're gonna be great with Moonstone today. So I'ma rub that in there. Put that in there. We go. Oh, baby, look, Moonstone. Moonstone got us. Baby, look. Moonstone, you. Ooh, woo. Moonstone, you. Baby, you got us growing. Ooh, baby. The glue is here to stay. Glow is serious with Moonstone, baby. Oh, let's get us a little bit right there. You know, no. Let's glow. <laughs> and right there. And right there. And right there. Baby, the glow is serious with this. Mm -hmm. Baby, we'll turn it off so we can make that glow go down. It's too much glow. Baby, we glow on our control of it. He is not playing with that glow. Oh my goodness. Baby, what I tell you this? This thing right here, pigment tip. This thing pigment tip. See, now I got to try to let blend that out a little bit. That is too much glow. Okay. Okay. All right. Thank you, glow, but baby, you was going too much. <laughs> Baby, that was a little bit too much glow, even for me. 
I like glow. I like it to be subtle. I like it to be that. They glowy. Okay. They're gonna be able to see me at night, baby. When the night comes, that's all they gotta do is see the glowness, and I'm there. I ain't even put nothing up there because that's too much. I'm going to use that access that's already on there. Okay. You see, this just was left over on it and it's making me glow already up here. Baby. If y'all don't have at least one, if y'all get one, get sun dip. It's going to dip you and it's going to brighten you. Oh, yes. It's going to give you a glow. A glow out of this world. Okay. Yeah, so this is what we're working with. Y'all, I like this look. I really like the way this look. Y'all know I like color. I really love the way this look came out. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. And mm -hmm. on my Milani color, we're going to use a Milani Metallic in Raven Matte. It's the Amora Metallics. And this is a perfect color. A perfect color. A perfect color. So we can use that. We're gonna be great with this dry and get flow we gonna mix that we gonna mix that with um tea and cook milk yeah we're gonna mix it put in the middle tea and cookies from the nyx suede lip line okay that's what we're gonna do and we're gonna be great with that so we just letting that metallic dry. Mm -hmm. Letting it dry, baby. Letting it dry. Okay. Y'all even have y'all got liquids that I know you even open. I gotta even open this one. I should do a tutorial every day. What y'all think? Y'all think I should do? If y'all think I should do seven-day non-stop tutorial coming up in August, y'all let me know. No, September. We're going to change it. If y'all want to do a non-stop week, seven days a week, makeup by Kawans a week, seven days of makeup looks, different looks, let me know. Okay, you guys. It look like it didn't dry. So we gonna use soft spoken. It's like a little pink color. I'm gonna tap it right here. Okay. is awesome now look at it these two baby uh, Amar Metallics Raven Matte by Milani and the Cream Slick um, Liquid Suede Stick by NYXN Tea and Cookies got this look it's cute 
All right, you guys, we gonna spray, baby. We gonna spray and slay. Okay. So we sitting there, baby, because we want this look to. This our eye look, y'all. Y'all, we did a good job. What you think? Uh huh. So yeah, we slaying. Are we slaying? Yes, we slaying, baby. Okay, you guys. This is the look that we came up with in this long tutorial. Um, and I just want to interact with you guys. Um, I hope y'all enjoyed this. I hope somebody learned something um that you can take for your own so again i want to tell y'all that i am god taught <laughs> god taught okay god taught me this because he knew that was my desire to be a makeup artist so he taught me you know so um i just want to encourage whoever striving for it god got you just trust him and he he will direct your path, okay? So, I absolutely love the way this look came out. And, again, y'all don't be scared of color. Don't be scared because if you blend and you mix, it's going to come into, it's going to become a work of art, okay? So, thank you to all my new and old subscribers. I love you guys. Thank y'all for riding with me. Y'all share, share this video with someone um that loves makeup or getting into makeup y'all share it y'all tell them to come subscribe to me makeup by kawanza and let's share this beautiful beauty's freedom journey love you guys y'all be blessed Mwah.